it's it's a little easier with positive results because as i've mentioned we are picking up something which is very very small in numbers the rna so positive results are generally uh, a lot more reliable because in this particular test that is performed there is a screening component and there is a confirmatory component so there is a double check on the actual infection the other point is that we look look for multiple genes of the virus so that actually uh, helps in confirming positive results and currently we do not have sufficient data to tell us uh, if there are any fallacies with false positives and finally the most important point is the clinical correlation every lab result must be correlated by a consulting physician uh, based on the clinical condition of the patient